Welcome. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to design a simple ID card with the use of your phone or Canva. And I'll be right back with all the steps. Welcome back. I hope you are subscribed to the channel. So let's go to the workspace as we start the exploration right away. Remember the site? The site is Canva. Um, download the, um, the application on your phone. Application name Canva. So I've, I'm sure you have actually done that. So this is Canva. And the moment I open my Canva, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to click on the plus sign, plus sign. So when I click on that plus sign, so the next thing I'm going to do is to look for the right template. The template is called ID card or or poster card. No, poster card is not it's not it's not good for it. Your business card is the best for it. So I click on I click on the plus sign, then I start my design immediately. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the plus sign. I go to illustration. This is illustration. Then I search for the word um, shapes. So I'm going to be using this particular shape. You know that um, at the, ed the edges of each ID card, normally the, um, it used to be curved. So that's why I'm going to be making this curve. So I will duplicate this, then make sure there's another one below. So the next thing I'm going to look do again is to click on the plus sign, go to illustration again, and write the gradients. Gradients, search gradients. I'm going to look for a nice color. So I'm going to be using this. I click on it, then I bring it over here immediately. So this is the one I'm using, and um, that means the first the first uh, design up I'll change the color to something something nice blue. Blue is fine. Then the down one let me use purple, but the purple should be dark. Then this is too bright. That means I can do the opacity. No, nope, the opacity won't work. That means I will need to make it lighter. Lighter the first tone, then the purple. I click on the plus to lighten it. Mark. Then I'm done. Then from here, right now, uh, I am now going to. I'll add my passport, which is to. I'll click on plus. I'll click on template. Search the word um, shape again. No. Um, the word frame. Frames or frame. I think I'll click on template. Illustration frames. Then I will look for. I'm going to be using these. Then after this, I'm going to change the color of the of the outline to purple, the dark purple that we are using. I think this purple needs to be very dark. Again, okay. very dark. Good. Okay, so after this, I'm going to bring my passports. I've already snapped my passport, so I'll just bring my passports for my gallery. This is my smiling teeth passport. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click on the plus sign again and then um, bring um, hard my logo, the logo of the organization, whether it is school, your brand, and more. Add the logo somewhere up. Then I will click on plus sign again to add. Um, click on add some text of your own. So the organization name is um, CME Foundation. Foundation, CME Foundation. Then you can reduce the size by clicking this part. Reduce the size, drag it backward, reduce the size. Okay. 
okay then i can make it bold and i can also change the I change the um font i think this font is not bad then after this i'm going to add the address the plus sign again click on text add text of your choice then the address is um 514 creative creative mind avenue bagada lagos nigeria so that's the address and um, remember i can drag it backward you make it smaller and the identity again i can duplicate this click to duplicate this just click on this box above there that is what you use to duplicate so i click on it and i duplicate immediately and i'm going to write another detail there um creative mind duco at email.com slash zero eight one three four zero nine six one one zero that is um, the number to contact if this ID card actually lost. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to change this font. I think it will be good for me to use the same font for up, the same font for down. Then I will change it to lower case. So this is fine. And um, I think I should have changed all the of this to this is white, it's not bad. And this purple. Cool. And this also the purple. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to add um text, text of your choice, name of student. Name. And then shorten it, click go down. Is this size good? I think so. This is the size name, and I'm going to make it uh, maybe the, the dark color. Yes, it's good. Then I will duplicate. Remember, this is where to click to duplicate. Duplicate, and after clicking on the word duplicate, I will change another thing there to um, all the details and it may be class. Duplicate. Uh, the next thing is going to be father's name. Duplicate again. Next thing I'm going to be adding is a um, student date of dot bat. Duplicate again. You know the one you are going to be using. You know what you need. Address. So yours can be different from mine phone number phone number so with this now the next thing i'm going to do is to click on the plus sign go to illustration and bring shape what am i using the shape for i'm going to be using the shape to i use the first shape make it white where they are going to be writing 
the details of the student. So the name of the student here duplicate the next one which is um, class duplicate the next one which is um, father's name duplicate again duplicate I'm not using this let me duplicate this duplicate this address then duplicate this so this is our id card we are almost there so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to add my it's just for me to add a um, signature of the owner of the organization so i'm going to click on uh, let me add a shape let me use one of these shapes duplicate this shape and um, bring it over here and alter the shape okay so i click on the plus sign how do you make this done how do you bring your signature just uh, um, screenshot your your phone look for a plain background and um, just draw your signature then after that you upload it so this is my own signature i have done that i screenshot this then i um, resize it to to the size that will be okay for me then i i use white background so the minute i do that this is fine then any other details you want to add to it maybe if this id card is found this and this any of those things i want to do um, or contact principal for more details or anything so you can do all of that. So this is how to create a simple ID card for your organization or your brand or your school. I'm very sure you are going to put this into reality. And I'm um, very sure you benefit a lot from this video. I'd like to subscribe to the channel. I'll be sending more video and you can also search the link below. You'll see a lot of what you need there. So I'll be right back with more steps. Thank you. Bye.